we're here to announce this morning that we're uh, prepared to take legal action and have, in fact, commenced the process to take legal action against the Minister of Environment. We say no, and it's our right to. What we were doing was we were working on a very specific project that was going to help alleviate a very specific problem in the jurisdiction that we lived in, which was to reduce coal burning. The water supply was being threatened, and therefore all of us and all life was being threatened. And it's one, two, three, what are we drilling for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn, just want a fracking van. I walk in, this is my community, this is my meeting, you are accountable to me. We realized that uh, perhaps this was not really as good as we m would have thought it would be. Not for one second did you consult our people. People who have capital, either banks or wealthy individuals or pension funds, don't get renewables. They would get really kind of pissed off at us that we weren't willing to play the game. You know, God damn it, Neil, God damn it, Peggy. You know, if you don't sign this bad deal, all you're going to do is go to the beach the rest of your life. Mm, wow, what else would you want to do? We'd like the government to support the people and not industry. Tried to pull the platform on us. Had not behaved in an honorable or trustworthy manner. We seemed to be going nowhere and there was no solution. And they were coming back with irrational solutions. People who really weren't competent, some of them were even crooks. In fact, they were had very quickly turned into the enemy. And brutal and actually it was quite obnoxious the way we were treated. And we're in trouble. Now you tell me that is socially responsible. stock price stop, dropped from 10 cents to one cent and to a half a cent, and effectively that was the end of the company. Miraculously, we're still being able to survive here without that industry. We actually turned them away. 